Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'd like to welcome you to Studio B21. We have a fresh um, little take on some ackee and sawfish we're going to do today. We also are going to show you how to soak the sawfish. And um, yeah, so basically we're going to get to it. Okay, so here we have is some Jamaican scotch bonnet. We got the scallions, we got the thyme, tomato, onion, and some peppers. You don't have to have the small ones, but this is all we have right now. So you can get bell peppers. We also have the ackee, which we're gonna use. You can use it in brine or you can use it in water. I preferably like uh, water, but we got brine today, so that's what we're gonna deal with. And then we also have the saltfish. You don't necessarily have to have pieces of the saltfish. You can, you can have little chunks if you want, but I thought it would be easier just to have the little bits and stuff like that because it's easier to break down. There's less bones. There's less uh, skin you have to peel off after you finish boiling it, which we'll talk about that after. Okay, so here we got the salt fish. There's a um, couple ways that you can uh, take care of this. More than one way. One of the ways people like to do is they like to soak the they like to soak the sawfish and they'll soak it for a couple hours or so to make it soft and get all the sawfish off. Or some people, if they're lazy, they like to just rinse the sawfish multiple times, right? So you'll just take it under the water, you'll rinse it a couple times, stir it around, get it loosen up the salt, rinse it more times, maybe like five or sometimes like that. And then they'll begin the process of boiling. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna we're gonna maybe rinse it a couple times and then we're gonna soak it for probably an hour or so. We're gonna get that water in there. Put your hands in there, you know, mix it around a little bit. So we'll see all that salt that's coming out of there. That's all salt water from the salt fish. So I'm gonna do this maybe two more times. You're already seeing there's less salt each time. See all that salt right there? I'm gonna hit it one more time. Now I'm gonna fill it up and I'm gonna soak it for about an hour and a half. And then we will begin the process of boiling. Just make sure everything's submerged. Okay, we're going to start with the onion. So we're going to cut up one onion in slices. And peel the first layer right here of the onion. Get that membrane off. Toss it to the side. And we're just going to do some slices. So we'll cut it in half. We take one. Some of the onions will have a little piece in here, which is usually yellow. So that kind of makes it a little bit more like, um, I guess tart per se. So you want to take that out. But if it's not there, that means it's good. So we good to go. So you just want to do some slices. Not too big, thin slices, right? there and put these away boom, boom, boom. Oh, bomb. we got the onions you can do the peppers now we got small peppers like I said the uh, bigger bell peppers are easier to cut but we're just going to cut these ones in um, slices also so you want to get out the inside all the seeds out here all right, cut these bad boys out. Nothing too crazy. Pull this out, toss it out there. And if you have small uh, peppers, you probably use four, four or five of them, right? Depending on how, what your preference is also. But me, I like to have everything, you know, voluptuous and, and good. 
So we're going to have a decent amount because we like to eat food around here. So we'll get the pepper. Chop up the pepper. Slices. Yeah, so I started cooking probably like when I was, I don't know, I say 12, helping my mom in the kitchen, just looking at things, you know, being curious and stuff like that. And being the mom that she is, she always wanted to teach me and make sure I, I had a good upbringing and I knew what I ate and my background and my heritage was, right? So this is just something that we're just trying to share with you, one of these recipes. Nothing too extreme, nothing too crazy, just to start you out on your journey. I'm gonna cut up some of these yellow peppers. I like to have some color in my plate too with the ackee and saltfish, but the peppers that really make the ackee pop, I would say is uh, green pepper and red pepper because they stand out the most, right? Okay, now that we got the peppers done now, we'll put those away on the side. And we'll do, we'll do, the, we'll do the tomato next. Same with the tomato, you wanna chop the tomato, right? Get off the top, get off the bottom. Put that over there. Tomato, you can chop up the tomato. You don't have to put them in slices. At the end of the day, however you want to chop your veggies is however you want to chop your veggies right the recipe is just a guideline you can do whatever you want if you want to add more stuff in here by all means add more things in here right but we're just giving you the basis and just showing you how it's done out here i'm gonna chop up these tomatoes Bomb. We got the tomatoes done now. Tomatoes. Put that over to the side. You got the Jamaican scallions, green onions, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever you got, like I said, you use, right? So we just get rid of these little ends out here. We'll get this. Chop that off. You want at least like one stock or two stocks is good, right? And you're just gonna you're just gonna chop it up. So we'll start. We'll chop this bad boy up right here. You know, add some more flavor to this dish. And it's always good. This is a you know a little subtle extra taste that makes the ackee pop too, right? You can use onion also, but you got these Jamaican scallions in the thing. It's going to add some more flavor to the palate, right? We're going to chop up about a stock of that. Put that to the side now, too. Mom, now you got your Jamaican scallions. I like the Jamaican scallions better than the green onions, to be honest. All this stuff you can find in, like, an Asian supermarket store or a Caribbean store, wherever it's close to you, right? Who knows, you might even have it in the garden during these times of year because it's starting to get nice out. So we got the scallions now. Now what we got is we got the scotch bonnet. Now this is very tricky, depending on your spice tolerance, you might have to have just a quarter of it. Some people, they go crazy, they'll take the whole thing. But what we're gonna do is I'm, I suggest you guys at least use half or a quarter of it. 
right? Some people, they go crazy and they toss the whole thing in there and let it cook with it, right? If that's your preference, you can do that too. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut it in maybe a, maybe a quarter. So we'll chop it in half. Literally, ladies and gentlemen, this is all you need. This is all you need right here. If you wanna go a little bit more extravagant, keep the seeds, keep the seeds in, right? But some people, we're gonna take out the seeds just for, you know, beneficial purposes. And I know some of you guys be looking at this video and you're gonna keep the seeds in if I don't take them out. So I'm gonna take them out just for your safety. So we'll just do that. And then, yeah, just a little slice, you know, because some people, they don't like the heat, but you want a little subtle hit, right? So that's what we'll do. We'll give a little subtle hit to this ackee and sawfish because if you're from the, if you're from the Caribbean or you're from any type of island, you know you have to have spice in your food. We don't have food bland out here, right? So we like spice and everything nice. You know what? I'm gonna probably put a, maybe put a couple seeds in here, a couple seeds, you know? So those are our ingredients for the ackee. All right, guys, now we're into the cooking process. So what we did with the saltfish is we boiled it for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we flaked it. We took all the skin off of it, the excess skin, and we tried to take the rest of the bones out of there. Also with the ackee we got, you can get, um, it doesn't matter what ackee you really get, man, because a lot of things now, you know inflation nowadays, so everything's expensive. You get the cheapest ackee. Ackee come from the tree at the end of the day, so ackee's ackee, you know? So we got the ackee also. We also rinsed it. Also depends what you come with, the ackee comes in because you can get the ackee in brine, which is like salt water basically, or you can get it in water. If you get it in the salt water, you want to just rinse out the ackee a little bit because it's still going to hold on to that saltiness, right? So that's what we did. So now we're going to start with the process. We'll start with some oil, right? You want to put the element on about, I'd say medium heat to start with, right? You get the oil. And we're going to toss in some of the scallions. Let's get all those scallions in there. All right. Toss in the onions. Toss in the peppers. We're going to toss in everything, right? We're throwing the garden in here, folks. You know? We're going to toss the tomato in. Can't forget about the thyme. Some people like to put the thyme out, take them out, put, bring them in little pieces, strip it, but we're just gonna toss it in there like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute all this up for about, you know, three, four minutes. Mix everything good, get everything cooked down a little bit, you know, and get it ready for the ackee and the sawfish. Toss a little bit of the pepper in there. Ooh, that's the noise I like to hear, folks. Oh, if you smell that too, it smells good. You also don't want to let it sit too long. You want to also keep constantly swishing it around or stirring it around or wherever you want to see it. One thing I suggest is if you do have, always use fresh ingredients. Like the time I'm using right here is fresh. If you don't have it, dry ingredients are always the second choice, but everything tastes better and has a little bit more of a robust flavor when you use fresh ingredients, right? Now we're gonna toss the sawfish in here. And get that all in there. We don't leave no scraps behind people. It's hard times out here. Mom used to tell me there's people in Ethiopia and places and I can't eat so you make sure you eat everything you have. I'm gonna take that sawfish, I'm gonna mix that around here too. And bask it in the flavor of everything else. As you see, it's starting to come together, folks. 
Hey, look at that. It's looking lovely. And finally, we got the Aki. We're going to toss this in here. When it comes to the Aki, folks, you don't really want to mix it around too much. You want to fold it in because you don't want no mushy Aki, right? Everybody hates mushy Aki at the end of the day. So we're going to fold it in here. Literally just, you know, take it on top, put it like this, bring it back. Nothing like that. Look at this, folks. Looking so bright and vibrant and colorful. That's how we got it. So after you done fold that in there, right? You're gonna let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes on that low heat or medium heat per se. All depends, everybody's elements are different, right? So just adjust accordingly. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Okay, and then we got the Aki, ladies and gentlemen. So we put that on here. A nice little good portion for everybody, you know. And yeah, we're ha we're just having it with some rice today. You can have it with everything, you know. Aki you can have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Some people have it with some um, fried dumpling or fried festival and some kalaloo or whatnot. There's a lot of things, but if there's something you want us to show you, just uh, put it in the comments below and. Please uh, like, subscribe, and share. And um, yeah, that's just about it. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you on the next one. Uh, can I actually check? Because I think I made a mistake before. What do you want me to check, brother? Just check uh, the part where Oh, these are just, are these pictures or is this really? No, this is back. At the scene, Joe, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh.